Hello everyone. So I have finished the Code Academy course and now I'm jumping into the Auditing Project Foundations course and I want to make videos of all the projects that I'm going to do in this course. So I'm starting here, Foundations course, HTML Foundations, Introduction to HTML and CSS. The project is called Recipes. So it looks like we're building a website with a main index page which will have links to a few recipes. So step one will be setting up your project's GitHub repository. All right, so number one, let's create a new repo for this project on github.com and call it Auditing Recipes. So in order to do that, you're gonna to go to your GitHub page and up here on the right, you have the plus sign and you're gonna click on that error and new repository. This is where you create the new repository Auditing Recipes. And then all you do is click Create Repository. Step two, move that repository onto your local machine inside the repos folder that you previously created in the Git Basics lesson. So I did that. I'm not sure if you guys did that, but if not, you're just going to create a folder named repos. So just go back to that lesson and follow the step-by-step. -step. Now using your terminal, you're going to add the command git clone github.com username auditing recipes git. So I'm going to use iterm. So I'm just going to copy and paste git clone git github.com username. I'm going to change this to my username which is Faye Maldonado and hit return. Step three, now CD into the Auditing Recipes project directory that is now on your local machine. Number four, set up your readme.md file and write a brief introduction describing what the current project is and what skills you have demonstrated once you have completed it. Or you can do that at the end of the project. So let's just do that. This is if you're having trouble with the steps. And these are the tips on when to commit while working on the project. All right, so let's go to the actual assignment. Initial structure. Within the Auditing Recipes directory, create an index.html file. You're going to create a HTML file with the command touch index.html. And then you can open that file through the terminal on VS Code. In order to do that, you're going to write the command code index.html. And then your VS Code will open. Step two, fill it out with the usual boilerplate HTML and add an H1 heading auditing recipes to the body. Let's go here, you do exclamation point and that will be automatically filled up. Let's create H1 heading on the body with the title auditing recipes. All right, so number two, create a new HTML file within the recipes directory and name it after the recipe it will contain. So for example, lasagna.html. So let's do that. We're going to open your terminal and we're going to create another file on repos. So here we have a repos file, auditing recipes, the index.html that we created. And we want to create another file inside this folder. So let's get to that folder. If you write PWD, which means printing word directory, it's going to show where you are right now. And we want to get to the repos file. And we want to go to the repos folder. So let's change directory, CD, repos. We're on repos now. But we want to go to the auditing project folder inside the repos folder. So let's check what's inside the repos folder, ls, 
for a list and you have git folder and auditing recipes folder so let's change directory auditing recipes and now we're there and now we're going to create a new html file lasagna.html now let's go to our repos folder and there it is now we have index.html and lasagna.html number three for now just include an h1 heading with the recipe's name as its content let's try to use the terminal let's code lasagna.html and then that file will open on vs code and they want us to create a document with an H1 with a recipe's name. Number four, back in the index.html file, add a link to the recipe page you just created. For example, under Audit Recipes heading, write out the link like so. A tag, href, recipes, dot, recipes name, dot, HTML, recipe title. The text of the link should again be the recipe name. So let's go back to the first file we created. And under the H1, we're going to create the A tag, but except we need to change recipes, recipe name.html to the actual file name, which is lasagna.html. Interaction three, recipe page content. Your new recipe page should have the following content. First, an image of the finished dish under the H1 heading. So let's find a lasagna image. You can go to Pixabay or Unsplash website and find a free image. I'm going to add the image to the Audit Recipes folder. And I'm going to open the folder over here so we can have access to that image. So on the recipes page, lasagna.html, underneath the H1, we're going to add an image. In order to add an image, we have the image tag is a self-closing tag, and we have the source and the description. So source, we can do dot slash, and that'll give you access to all the files you have available in this folder. And we'll just select lasagna and the description just going to write lasagna picture. Number two, under the image, it should have a description followed by a paragraph or two describing the recipe. So let's open the page and take a look. If you press here, go live, that will open the page. We can see what we have for now. Let's try to make the image a little smaller. Let's do 500. Okay, that's pretty good. I did with 500, high 360. So this is the H1, and now we need to add the title and the description. So it needs to be smaller than H1, which is the main title. So let's do here, underneath the image, we're going to create an H2. And I'm going to add a paragraph with the recipe. So I'm going to add a couple paragraphs. All right, great. I'm just going to change this because I already added lasagna before. So I'm just going to add one paragraph. Let's see how that looks. I just want to make this a little smaller, so instead of H2, I'm going to change this to H3. That's better. All right, now under the description, we're going to add ingredients, heading, followed by an unordered list. So let's add 
ingredients with a another list of the ingredients needed for the recipe. So let's get here the ingredients. We need meat. I'm just going to copy. So I'm going to add to li tag for each of these. And if your document is not formatted like this, the spacing is different. On Mac, you can just click Option Shift F, and then that's the shortcut to format. Or you can click Command Shift P, and this is going to open, and then you can just select Format Document or anything else that you need. Now all the spacing is correct. And finally, under the ingredients list, we're going to do the steps with an order list. So let's create another list. This time, order, not unorder. With the step-by-step. -step. So there's six steps. Make the meat sauce. Cook the noodles. I'm just going to add here before our order list the step by step H2 heading. Now we're going to add more recipes. We're going to add two more recipes with the same structure and let's add links to the new recipes. And you can create an unordered list to add your links. So, first, let's create an unordered list and each link is going to be a list item. I'm just going to copy this twice because we're going to add two more recipes. Okay so let's add another file. We're going to name Sicilian Roasted Chicken. I'm going to save this as chicken.html and for the last one Let's do miso soup, creating a new file, miso soup.html. So for these two, we're going to follow the same steps we did for the lasagna. So first, add the picture and then the list with the step by step and the ingredients. So I'm just going to copy this and change for each recipe. I'm all done with the ingredients step by step for the miso and the chicken recipe. So now I just need to change the pictures. We're going to do the same thing dot slash. This is the miso. Let's change the alt. And let's do the same thing for the chicken. Okay, so the links are not working. Let's try to figure out why. Okay, so the links are, were wrong, so I just fixed, and now they're working, and also the pictures were wrong. For the chicken, I fixed the source now, and for the miso, I also need to fix because I accidentally put the image, the HTML page as the image, and that's wrong, so let's find the miso image dot slash and I believe it's this one because I got from the Unsplash website. Let's save. Let's refresh. 
lasagna recipe, chicken, and miso. Okay, so it looks like everything is working. Now for the last part, viewing your project on the web. If you want to show your work, you need to publish your website so that others can access. GitHub allows you to publish web projects from the GitHub repository. So in order to do that, you go to GitHub repo on the web and click on settings button as shows on the screenshot below. Then click on pages on the left sidebar, change the branch to none to main branch and click save. So after committing your work, then the main option will show up here. And you have three options to commit your work. You can use either use GitHub desktop, which is easier, or you can commit on the web page or you can commit through the terminal and I want to make a video about committing through the terminal and basic commands on the terminal so our solution should be here on this list there are many solutions here but you should be able to find your solution if you use this address so let's do your github username Maldonado, your GitHub repo name, adding recipes. All right, it worked, and here is our page.